damn car, you going off. <laughs> Hold on. What's good guys, it's your boy Cam back with a YouTube video and today we're going to be checking out Angry Liberals Can't Defend Their Democrat Candidates. Um, before the video starts, smash the like button right now, subscribe if you're new, and let's get right into this video, man. How can't these angry little liberals uh, defend their candidates, bro? Let's get it. You guys are part of a cult. You people are absolutely crazy. Anyone that could support Trump is absolutely crazy. End of conversation. And he's, uh, I think, a Russian asset. He's fake. Tell me what you know. This is Millie Weaver, and we are here at Otterbane University, where Democrat debate night number four is about to take place. As you can see behind me, we have some never Trumpers out here, some anti-Trump protesters, and we also do have a handful of pro-Trump people out here as well on the other side of the street. Why are you out here outside of the Democrat debates protesting Trump? Well, I'm not exactly here protest. I'm saying we need an alternate candidate, and mm. I think uh, we'd be well advised to get a Democrat. But the other thing is I've just completed a musical, 2020 the musical. Dump the Trump 2020. What the freak the is, is this? Oh, girl, you're not supposed to copyright me after this. This junk sounds terrible. What is Trump doing that's wreaking havoc on our country? Well, for, well let's just use a current example about pulling out, pulling our troops out of, uh, you know, Syria, and now uh, Russia's moving in. So aren't you happy that's, that's, that he brought that, the troops home? Well, I don't think it's that simple. And, you know, I'm, I'm not... Uh, you, I guess, I'm guessing that you've read more about this than I have coming in... Uh, to this place to ask questions. What's my source of news? Yeah, is it Fox? Oh, I use tons of different sources oh, of news. I'll bet Fox is your main I, source. I do use Fox sometimes. You use Info what, what's your you source? Use Info no, do you watch CNN? I watch lots of different news sources. Okay, so you probably do <laughs> watch CNN. Fox, so did you hear about did you hear about the Project Veritas video exposing CNN that CNN's president is essentially pushing all this impeach and this anti-Trump news because he has a personal vendetta against Trump. President of CNN has a personal vendetta against Trump. The Project Veritas has released the... That's not good. You're watching, you're watching that? I won't want somebody that biased. You know what I'm saying? Video proof of CNN staff. They're going to show only the bad. Hmm. Proudly admitting to leading an anti-Trump crusade. For moving towards uh, 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 which may amount to professional yeah. misconduct. He has admissions that saying that. that was shown at a Trump event recently where he's shooting uh, media people and anybody else he can get his hands on. That was a meme. That, no, it was shown at a Trump event. It was a meme. This is a disturbing example of the so-called meme wars, these kinds of videos, in this case, pro-Trump videos all over YouTube. This particular video was created more than a year ago, uh, but became very notable last week when it was shown at this right-wing conference in Florida. Right-wing conference Are you kidding in me? Florida. We know Donald Trump Jr. was there. We know no way she used the, the freaking uh, Kingsman video to, 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 to back up her hate for him when it was shown at this right-wing conference in Florida. Right-wing conference up, in Florida. We know Donald Trump Jr. was there. We know that I'll Sarah Hubby Sanders was there. They say they didn't see the video. They say they didn't see the video. Did you all see the liberal Democrat left-wingers outside of Trump's rally in Minnesota beating Trump supporters that were trying oh, to go into the rally? <laughs> Did you see well, that footage? Too I far. did not. No, bro, that's too far. That's too far. That's pissing me off. I don't care who you do not like, or who I who I who I support that you don't like. You do not put your hands on somebody because they like they they support somebody different than you. You don't do that, bro. But you, but if you fall back, you'll be wrong, though, bro. Especially since she's a she's a woman. Oh. 
Did you? And then he has a whole crowd. She has a whole crowd to back her up. So if he do touch her, just piss me off, bro. And she, I bet she ain't watch. I bet, I bet she ain't watch this. I bet she ain't watch that. She's like, nah. They were just horsing around, man. That was a meme. Like what, bro? See that footage? I did not see that. Smacking footage. women in the head, yeah. beating Have them. Have you seen this? The violence in the Trump rallies. <laughs> He's trying his best to agitate these Trump supporters to get them to snap and react to him, but none of them have been snapping. They've just been showing him really? love, giving him hugs, offering to come cut in line and come with them. There's no That's actually cr the polar opposites, bro. It's like night and day, bro. What? Literally, because it was night when, okay. Violent inside the Trump rallies. They're outside. I've seen it on TV. I've seen it on TV. Let me guess, CNN? I've seen it on. Who's yeah. recently been exposed for being fake news? Yeah. <laughs> this is the current state of politics in America right now. As you can see, we have different groups. You don't put your hands on nobody, nobody, because they they support somebody different to you. And just for that, that's making me say a lot about who you actually are supporting, and, and you as a person, and this whole group that accepted what you just did. What are you supporting that makes you want to hit me or hit, hit, hit who I'm with? It's not, I'm going to be honest, bro. That's, 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 of, that's what got me right now. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I'm sorry. Supporters standing on different sides of the street, just all shouting at each other. You have the Tom Steyer camp. You also have Amy Klobuchar's camp right alongside them. You've got Beto O'Rourke's camp. And you have Joe Biden's camp over here. And then we even have a Donald Trump camp right here. So it's just interesting to see all the different people standing on their corners chanting. No hate, no fear. Democrats are standing here. They're, they're letting us no know fear. that they're standing here. Standing here. I think it's pretty apparent. No fear. Democrats are standing here. No hate. Thank you for no pointing fear. out the obvious. Democrats are standing here. No hate. No fear. Democrats are so you're standing here? No you're Democrats standing here? Standing yes. here no Why are you standing no here? Democrats I support Tom Steyer. No you want to stand over there? Or you just like it here? Okay. Hey, no fear. Uh -uh. Why, why are you guys standing here? No fear. Democrats are standing here. No hate. No fear. But Democrats are Democrats standing over there? No fear. And Democrats over there? Are standing no hate. No fear. Democrats are standing here. No fear. Democrats are standing here. I would eat the call. Why is Beto better than Tom Sayer? I'm okay. What do you think Joe, about Joe Biden and the corruption with him and his son Hunter? Do you think that that's going to weigh on him in the election? I think that that is, whether you want to call it corrupt or just an old-fashioned way of looking at politics, I think we're ready to move on. I think we're ready to say that the vice president's son shouldn't be making money on a company that the vice president does business with, whether or not there was anything illegal. We all know it's kind of swampy. Who do you think is the candidate right now that has, it has the least likelihood of beating Trump? The least likelihood of meeting Trump? Out of the ones debating tonight. Elizabeth Warren. Does anybody really get excited when somebody goes, hell yeah, I'm taking your two cents? Uh, it's boring. <laughs> There's nothing. People get excited when they say, hell yeah, I'm giving you tax breaks though, right? Everybody likes more money in their pocket. I hope that we have an idea of America that's bigger and broader and more exciting than here's $200 a month. You mean like Andrew Yang's uh, UBI, $1,000 a month? Anyway, you know, the $200 here on Social Security or the $1,000, I hope that America means more to you as an American than here's a check. Well, I actually don't 
have not decided to vote for Amy yet. I'm here with my friend Christine, who's from Minnesota, or Christina, who's from Minnesota. Um, I have not yet decided. Well, why are you wearing an Amy shirt then? Well, like I said, I'm here with my friend Christina, who's from Minnesota. I'm an MPA student at Ohio State, so I think it's important to participate in the political process. She's a really um, pragmatic leader. I used to work for her in Minnesota, and I think she's a great moderate choice for, you know, those who might not be all the way, you know, left or all the way. He don't want to be here. Bruh. He, is, bruh, he, bruh, he just want you. He want you. Right. She's a great center choice. He said friend. So what do you think about the controversy with Joe Biden? Maybe if I uh put on this shirt, she'll, you know what I'm saying, a little bang pow. And his son Hunter Biden. Do you think that's gonna hurt him during the election? <laughs> what? I'm I'm just wondering why InfoWars of all of the um, what did you just say? What? Someone's racist? No, I don't think that's what she said, but I don't really understand. You know, I had to look you up after we talked, and, uh -huh. and we had a wonderful conversation, but... So I don't understand why you're interrupting my interview if <laughs> well, I'm, I have done you no wrong, well, ma'am. I guess I'm wondering why you're not being transparent with people to say, I'm from... CBS, I'm from NBC, I'm from CNN, I'm from InfoWars. I'm being very transparent right here. It's as I'm Millennial Millie and that, on YouTube, MillennialMillie.com. Anyone who knows me can find that. And I would venture to guess that most people here don't know you, although it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. That's okay, why thank it's you. on my okay. mic. And so am I, am I not allowed to talk to, to people no, in you, the public? No, you are absolutely allowed to talk to people, but I think it's nice to introduce yourself. Okay. Thank you. What about the allegations of corruption in the Ukraine with his son, Hunter Biden? Do you think that that's going to weigh on him during the election? How many more allegations can you have than what with, with the current person we have in office? There is no way. Uh, it has been proven that he has not done anything. It has been proven that he has not done anything wrong. So to continue to make allegations, especially false allegations, in an attempt to dissuade Americans from voting for the person who would be the best president of this country. So do you think, do you think Joe Biden's history with um, ad advocating for segregation in the country is going to weigh on him? I think Joe Biden's history of advocating for this country will weigh on him. And I feel that that should contribute to him being selected as the next president of the United States. Him being selected as the next president. I'm standing for anything that eradicates the current president and all of the misgivings that he's doing and all he has done to... Um... Is that the most important thing, to eradicate the president? Well, how about all that he stands for? How about all that he's done? How about all that he's doing? He's made the lowest African American unemployment history. That's what I bet a good amount of them changed their mind. Yeah, I bet a good amount of them changed their mind. That he's doing. does not even resonate with me. What was it supposed to? It's all the other things. He can't Our even... economy's doing great. Our stock no, market's no, great. No. It doesn't matter about the economy. It doesn't matter about the economy. No, no, it's about what he has done globally okay. and what he is doing as far as his misgivings of his inarticulate behavior. You don't think he's helping the economy? No. Oh my gosh, no. no. So no. the numbers, the facts, you the statistics, he is going to rest they don't... It's not about what she, he does economically. Wait, what? As far as his misgiving. It's not about what he does for the economy. It's about what he's done globally. Come on, guys. Things of his inarticulate behavior. I don't think he's helping the economy. No. Oh my gosh, no. no. So no. the numbers, the facts, the you know statistics, what, going to rest they don't mean anything, right? What he thinks he's done what for the economy. But look what he has done what globally. What are you quoting? Yeah, the, the, the record low African American unemployment. Numbers? That's numbers. No, no, okay. no. Number. No. I want numbers. I don't even want to say anything. Else. Oh, yeah. I'm, just just care about about I'm done. I'm done. Oh, so I'm done. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. money. He's Earth the Earth only Earth president Earth. that's ever donated his presidential salary so to the veterans. So what? <laughs> okay. That makes him great. Well, she said all he cares about is money. Obviously not. He would have made more money if he I never became not. president. He's making money hand over fist. He's not making money hand over the fist. Hell, he's not. Look I'm at Trump not Towers. I'm talking about him personally. I'm talking about he thinks the What? He I never became president. He's making money hand over fist. He's not making money hand over the fist. Hell, he's not. Look I'm at Trump Towers. I'm talking about him personally.
He can't still have his businesses before. <laughs> Imagine you just got to delete all your businesses you have. Personally, I'm talking about he thinks the only thing this country cares about is the Don't economy, and that's that not the only thing Don't to think about. Those wall. poor Kurds over in Syria, he just left them. Okay, so you're, you're for war then? I am not pro-war. I'm for keeping the... Oh, no, just not, take me off. Okay, because to. you're going to share a network with Alec Jones, and you're going to try and be. I like, thought Democrats no, 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 didn't no, no, like no. war. No, I thought no, Democrats no, no. didn't like war. You're, Democrats used to be the party that did not war, right and now everyone's complaining that he doesn't want war. Be a legitimate. Can't make this up. Person out for any sort of good. Yeah. Absolutely. Ad hominems don't prove your argument, sir. That is 100 percent true. Ad hominem attacks do not prove your argument. Good. Yeah, no, no, just don't talk to her. Look at this guy. He, he just wants to tell everyone not to talk to me because he knows that these people don't have a way to defend their argument. So crazy. I love how the old dude came up and was like, let me see the numbers. What numbers? You said you have numbers? I don't care. I don't want to talk to you anyway. <laughs> Where'd they go? The Biden quarter is now go on, empty. Go on, go on. They all ran away when I asked them about Biden and his corruption. Take advantage of the amazing fun. That's crazy, bro. He said, where's your numbers? I don't want to talk to you anyway. Okay. That makes him great. Well, she said all he cares about is money. Obviously not. He would have made more money if he I never became president. He's make that is true. Uh, but yeah, man, that's the end of the video, bro. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the conversation below how you felt about this video, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, yeah, let me know what else I should check out, bro. I just wanted them to defend their arguments, bro. It was like, she seemed like she was ready to have the debate talk, and talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she did have a few good conversations, I think, right? She did, right? Maybe. That's the end of the video, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, because I'm posting every single day. If you want me to check out anything, just comment down below and hit the notification bell. And I'll see y'all later, man. Peace.